This is episode 10 of this playfield swap with the scared stiff. We're going to put the Are spider hole cliffy in. Then we're going to put in the spider hole, crate scoop, and coffin mech. Let's get stuck in. So before I actually get on to the uh, coffin popper, I just wanted to say I've actually forgot that I have purchased the cliffies for the new playfield. And so, you know, the cliffy is really designed to stop the new playfield being chewed up like this one has. And so, you can see this one's being chewed up here, here, up here, really badly, and here a little bit, not so much. And funnily enough, nothing on the crate, and I don't actually have a, a cliffy for this here. So these can be fitted, the two on these two um, scoops can be fitted any time, but this one here has to be fitted before you put the base plate on the back. And I've just put that on, so I'm just gonna take that off quickly, put on the cliffies, and so I'll show you quickly how to do that. Okay, so this cliffy has got two parts. One that goes in the back, and that one can be fitted afterwards because it doesn't loop in underneath the play field. This is this. This is the one that goes, this goes in like that, but you'll see that it, it needs to go lock in under the wood. So I'm going to put this one in, I need to remove this scoop quickly. So this is going to simply sit like that and there's a little See, there's like a little ridge which sits underneath the, the platform. Now, with all cliffies, there's, there's actually a protective plastic layer. I don't know if it's on the top. Yeah. So what you want to do before you install it is remove the layer. Otherwise, you install them and then a month's time, your cliffy's looking terrible. It's just a, a little protective plastic layer. There we go. There's no adhesive on these, but what's gonna happen is as this goes in and clips in underneath the play field, Go. and you'll see that it aligns beautifully with those holes this one that goes at the back um, doesn't clip under the play field so I can put that in after the fact I'm just not sure which one I prefer to have on top that's what we don't need to decide now yeah I'd probably choose to do it that way but I can do that after the fact okay so let me put that bracket back on. Fortunately, all of the other cliffies actually can go on from the top only. So, nothing to worry about. But you want to make sure when it goes in that you push it forward as far as it can go. Okay, that's just. That now will hold it in place until I get to the time that I start to put the posts in, and um, which will actually hold it in from the top. But that'll stop that from getting damaged, and uh, now I can move on to the other piece that I want to begin, which is the coffin on the other side. Okay, so I have completely reassembled this coffin. Um, you'll notice there's this weird appendage here. That's because the spring's busted. I've ordered a new one, but it's going to take a while to get here. But um, I've also fixed all the optos that had a real hack job. I'll put a, a photo up of all the crap that I took off. But fixed that back, made it more original. I'll table tie these up now. But this needs to then go back in. Um, I've got this 
all the screws and there are two screws that go into T-nuts and there are four screws that are just wooden screws. These T-nuts don't feel so good. See a bit. A little bit too tight for a threaded. That's not very good. Let me go and knock that T nut out. So there's the one with the shed or screw in it. There's the new T nut. And I'm just going to put it in using. Now patented G clamp method. In fact, you can actually just now that there's a hole there, you can actually push it in with your hands. The T nut. So let's understand why this sheared off. I mean that fits in to the T nut. Fine. So. Don't know why that has not worked. <laughs> Maybe the thread on the other T nut is just damaged. Moral of the story when it feels tight, stop. I'm going to try and reuse this. Yeah, it goes in fine, so it must have just been a problem with the T nut. One of the things that I've found is that, and I can't remember where I saw the tip, is when you start a new screw in the play field, turn the wrong way one full turn. It just allows the thread to catch beautifully and then it goes in straight. So it's just a, a very simple little technique. Start and just go back and come in. Now I have noticed that this hole here has got no dimple or hole at all. So I'm going to have to drill that. This is the first hole that I'm going to have to drill on this play field, which is really quite a credit to CPR and also is making me suddenly very nervous because I don't want to drill through my play field. I really should have noticed this before I put the other parts on because life would be a lot easier. Let's take this out. Should have picked it up earlier. Let me make a small dimple where that needs to go. Ah, oh, 
So actually there is a hole, it's just in the wrong spot. It's off by a couple of millimeters. Hopefully I can get in there. Okay, I don't have a proper drill stop, but I'm literally going to use a post rub action. And that's going to what I'm going to use. Okay, so I've got my post rubber and then I've chest that's about halfway through the play field. Okay, so the post is on, it's the two mil drill now. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Let's do the threaded ones first. So that's in. Now there's just, there's a part of a rail here which needs to go in. And these are just three T-nut screws. Okay, so that's it. So we've got one more mech to put on the new play field. And that's the crate scoop which goes in here. I'm gonna go and give this a bit of a clean. The scoop is not in great shape. And have a look and see if we can reuse it. Okay, so all nice and polished up and cleaned up. Got a new coil coming, but let's get this in for now. So that is the crate scoop which goes in like this, I believe. The line up, yes. And then the little trough, ball trough with the optos on it. So these were the screws that were in there, so I'm going to replace those with standard new ones. So, start with a little trough first. Let me just get that in. Now this, there's a T-nut on this side. Now I need to go back and check my photographs if a post comes down in here and connects down here. 
or whether there's a machine screw missing. But other than that, there are three standard wood screws, which I'll get in now. And I might put in a machine screw in that hole, just in case it does come down there. That is, those are the last two mechs that need to go in. So now it's just switches, bulbs, and we'll move on to the front of the play field. If there's anything unclear, feel free to leave a comment. If you found it helpful, you can subscribe, hit the little thumbs up, like button. Next episode, we're gonna start taking off all of the lamps, switches, and the wire loom, so a big episode. Thanks very much for watching, until next time.